Hi, welcome to Reality Paint. We want to have this quick video to explain what is new in the latest update, version 1.0.2.6. Uh, don't worry if this number confuses you, it just means the, the latest version. So, first off we have new features. And first off we implemented a silent update option in image 1. It's right here in preferences silent update. What this does is, is it will check for updates more frequently when starting Reality Paint and only prompt you when an update is actually available. So what this means is, is you won't be prompted to say, would you like to check for updates? And you're like, oh, why yes. And then you say, oh, there's an update available. Would you like to download it? And you're like, oh, why yes. It just silently checks for updates updates and then if there is one available you will then be prompted to confirm the download otherwise it you just carry on your merry way and uh, one thing is very important to note that unlike other software updaters you might have uh, been annoyed with reality paints updater only activates for a brief moment when you launch reality paint and it does not get added to your startup uh, programs does not and it does not run continuously in the background so if you're not even working on reality paint you're never going to get a message popping up saying oh there's a latest update would you like to download and you're like no I'm busy with something else leave me alone that's never going to happen it's only when you launch the program when it checks okay Second, we implemented an exclamation icon that will appear near the cursor when the, there is an issue with the surface at that location. So uh, when this happens, you, uh, you read the message box at the bottom right hand of the screen to see what it's actually about. Because as you know, in 3D graphics, any number of things can go wrong and you don't know why. We try to predict as many of these cases as we can and let you know so you don't get stuck. So let us uh, show you what we mean by that. Um, so here we have our, our friendly toucan. I'm going to zoom out and we're going to bring in a reference image. Let's just say we're going to um, we're, we're going to use this as a, a clone brush to bring some of that detail over. So we zoom in here, right? And if for whatever reason I want to paint. I'm attempting to paint on the reference image. I'm going to see this exclamation point and it's like, wait, something's wrong. And then this box down here, it says reference object. You cannot perform this action on a reference object. See manager objects, object name, reference object. So you're like, I'm trying to paint, like, nothing's happening. I don't know what, pay attention to that exclamation mark and read the message down here. So in this case, you would, if you really do want to paint on it, you would say you select toucan, a reference object, uncheck this here, and then you're going to be able to paint on it. Okay. So let us delete this guy. Okay. Now let's get on to our next point. Uh, yes, we implemented drag and drop for image files into the brush image and the brush shape boxes. So what that means is, let's take a look um, here. So instead of clicking on this, uh, locating the file, uh, and then loading it, you can just drag and drop. So if I want to have this as my brush image, I can drag it into this box. And if I want to have this as my brush shape, I can drag it into that box as well. Simple, but uh, it helps speed up your workflow. And likewise, when you click on brush tip, uh, you get these same boxes, but with some more options, uh, you can drag into them as well. And Oops, let me see. There you go. You notice also holding Alt clears that. If you Alt click, um, you clear them in case you didn't know. Anyway, uh, let us go back here and see what else do we have. Implemented drag and drops in the object panel as well. So um, let's just say you're in the manager, you're dealing with objects you can drag and drop pretty much anything that's of an object. Now this is an image, but it can be an object if this is checked. So, uh, or if it's an OBJ file, CR2, what have you, you can drag them into that box. Um, so yes, and as time goes on, we're going to make the uh, drag and drop a little more robust. It's just that there's, there's always something to do and 
that's why we have automatic updates so we can keep moving forward without having to wait on everything else so let us continue um, uh, drag and drop objects hotkeys for menu subcategories now uh, it'll make the uh, menu appear if it's hidden okay so in this case we have paint tools and I want a hotkey for paint tools not an actual paintbrush but for the whole category so I'm using the spacebar here by the way just in case you're maybe not keeping up uh, so um, if I hit the one key it will not only activate this uh, category but it'll bring the menu up if, if it's not hidden while previously you would have had to hit the key and then hit the spacebar to show actually show the menu it's a small point but uh, important to note uh, <coughs> excuse me now we have bug fixes there's not only a few in this one we have uh, there was a problem in loading display group sets so what had happened is you have these display groups uh, in your manager um, and if you have this object and you preset up some uh, display groups you can actually export that as a uh, display group set and then if you have another project with the same object and you want to use those display groups you can re import that file so there was a bug involved that where you load it and it would just seem to take forever it was a minor oversight we fixed that up so um, and we fixed a problem with the clone brush where the overlay was uh, when you're um, sorry excuse me we fixed the problem with the clone brush uh, overlay when the cloning from a reference image so if you had a reference image like this and uh, as reference object and da, 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 and zoom in here and what would happen is if you have paint tools, clone brush, uh, if you say alt and then you started cloning, see right now you can see the result of what was uh, what you're supposed to see, like the fine. But what was happening before, if this was your source, you were seeing a grid like this stuff instead of that. And only when you release the mouse, you would see the final result. So it still worked. It was just annoying. So we fix that bug. There's always little bugs. It, it just happens, and we fix them, and we go on. Okay, so that uh, that concludes our update, version 1.0.3.6. And uh, please, uh, this uh, we have a commentary at the bottom. Let me uh, discuss. No, we don't actually. I usually have a commentary, but I will just wing it. The commentary is this: uh, we appreciate all of your constructive feedback if you find any little uh, nuances in the software that should work a certain way and it's not quite working right or if you find an actual bug or th these sort of things please either email us or go to the forum and make a posting and uh, give us screenshots whenever possible because some of these things are really hard to visualize without screenshots so all of that constructive feedback goes into making these updates so every week um, we're putting out new updates based on this feedback so if you're having a, a little issue you say hey it'd be nice if when I click on this button this subtle thing happens and then you you message me about it and I agree I'll be like okay I'll put that in the next update that's a good point and then a week later you got the feature that you're looking for so your participation is extremely welcome in this area so with that being said thank you very much for watching this video uh, please keep posted we're going to be putting up some uh, new uh, uh, tutorial videos uh, today and in the upcoming week and uh, stay tuned all right see you guys next time